why I think it's important is, um, especially in like radical left circles, I, I often just hear people argue over different like concepts of we should be doing this, we should be doing that. And people just have different like theories of change and what our ultimate goals are. So I just, I have some different theories of change concepts I want to go over with, with you guys and see what your thoughts are. I want to talk about different ideas about cooperatives and the solidarity economy in use for like social and systemic change, you know? So um, that's the idea. Now, in historically, right, there are like five, five different, um, you know, aims. This is according to Craig. I don't, I don't know Craig's first name. I didn't write that down, but um, nine, it was written in 1980. But he basically talked about five different purposes for cooperatives. One is the original one, which is the cooperative commonwealth, which is the original ideology of the Rochdale pioneers. And the vision, the vision is that this school of thought that cooperatives grow and develop to embrace all fields and permeate all economic activities. The second idea is cooperative, the cooperative sector, which is like the concept that cooperatives can coexist in the dominant economy. The third idea is cooperative socialism, which is, which like sees cooperatives essentially as like a socialist institution that either supports a more centralized government or sees cooperatives as a superior form of socialization to to state control. And then the fourth idea is the school of modified capitalism, which sees cooperatives as a means to support capitalism and maybe improve upon it. And the fifth idea is like new age cooperativism, which sees like good society as one that replaces the monolithic organizations with a life of form, life oriented economy. So that was a lot right there. But there, are, but we have different ideas like within cooperatives of like what co-ops are for, right? Some people see it as like a better form of cooperative of capitalism, and some want us to replace capitalism. Some think it's a better form of capitalism. And um, I guess. It, Besides, like, within our organizations, like, we, we have to be on the same page if we're going to get work done, right? I think also as, like, in cooperatives, if we want to get to any of these larger goals, we have to strategize to get there, not just say, oh, one day, you know? So these are some of the start, start, starting ideas I ha have here. Just want to hear some. Thoughts from you guys about this first part. So what's the difference between the cooperative commonwealth concept and the what you call the new age co-op thing? Yeah, the new age. Um, I, the idea that, um, I mean, Craig puts it as like, puts these things in time frames in his writings, but like new age is, Okay. A newer idea of just um, it's it includes like a kind of social like a like a self transformation side to it like care oriented side to it you know um, mm -hmm. so that's kind of where that okay. new age cooperativism so, is a little little bit right. different it just has to do with like um, this is this is how we're going to work. And support each other better. So, so what's our question then? Is it like, I mean, which of those? I mean, obviously, some of them are, um, you know, yeah. have a more transformative kind of, you know, a goal. The you know, cooperative commonwealth or the the cooperative socialism, as compared to, you know, uh, making some minor adjustments to to you know, capitalism. Co-ops as a better form of capitalism. So. What? Yeah, what, where do you guys personally kind of, um, you know, what resonates with you, you know, in, in what how you would like to see cooperatives, 
you know, operate in the world. I mean, I guess I'll go since nobody else seems to. Hey, can we have Matt on? Because we haven't tested <laughs> Matt, Matt's mic yet. Oh, yeah. Matt, yeah. turn your mic on and answer the question real quick. <laughs> Can't hear you, Matt. Can't hear you. Can't hear you at all. Your mic is not muted. Um, so while Matt's figuring that out, um, I guess I'm certainly more drawn to the Cooperative Commonwealth. Um yeah you know, kind of concept. Although, I don't know, I heard this uh, Gramsci quote the other day about um, pessimism of the intellect, optimism of the will. And uh, my intellect, when I think about, you know, actually have it like cooperatizing the entire economy or some large chunk of it, you know, thinks that's not happening <laughs> that this is has seemed so you know such a long shot nonetheless i think that that you know i'd like that that to be our goal and our our, our mindset um you know i think in the day-to-day -day of working in a co-op or you know you're probably not thinking about any of this right you're just you know running your business um but you know, I, I guess is kind of the the motivating factor. I, I think that's to me that's what gets me going is just the idea that we could you know have more and more co ops network together and be doing more and more stuff. And um, yeah, Matt is back. You want to try that mic again? Yeah, this is funny. It's like I have, to me, I have sort of two little things that I relate to this. One is when I visited Mondragon the first time, we're talking to a bunch of people. We're talking to a researcher at Mondragon University. Um, and, I, you know, it's my first visit there, just kind of trying to get a sense of where everybody, how they think about what they do. And I asked basically a version of this question, like, you know, what's the... How do you, what's the goal? Like, what do you, how do you see things going? And basically I was asking them, well, essentially like, is this project anti-capitalist in some sense? And the researcher was, you know, said, oh no, not at all. Not in the least. Yeah. <laughs> and I was a little bit like, wow, okay. They were like, no, it's just one form among others. It's, it was just, it's a better way to do business was basically the model, uh, was the answer. So this was really, that was interesting to me because Aris Mendi Arieto, who started Mondragon, was more anti-capitalist. Like his, his, he came in his time period, but also just who he was, etc. It was, the idea of cooperativism was related to social transformation, meaning getting rid of capitalism. Um the other story is that I was driving at the Labor Notes conference with my friend uh, Chie Matsumoto, who's a great freelance journalist and labor organizer in Japan. And she was trying to figure out, like, why this interest in co ops? You know, and that's why I said, you know, well, to me, it, it makes sense that that's kind of where unions are going, right? Like, you, you, you don't want to just always be bargaining with an employer who controls the whole thing and you're just fighting over you know margins of how much power you might be able to have you want to actually take over right like isn't that isn't that really what we're after and so i was like so cooperatives to me make a lot of sense it's just kind of worker run businesses and i remember she was very surprised by that answer because she just hadn't thought of it that way um because i think in her the background that she came from and what she was familiar with as an activist, fundamental social transformation was not on the agenda. It was like very much in her personal motivation, but it wasn't anything that was really part of the strategy of anything that she did. Like nothing was building social transformation in a real practical sense, even though it was motivated by that. And then in her political background, which she, she wasn't really involved in, the, in Japanese political movements, but many people she worked with were, 
And so they came out of the student new left in Japan in the 60s and 70s. So it's very old school socialist revolution state power model of social transformation. So again, kind of the cooperative thing was sort of a distraction from that point of view. It's like getting caught up in these petty day-to-day -day things instead of organizing to see state power, which is what you have to do. So all that's just to say, like for me, social transformation is like crucial. It's not necessarily intrinsic to cooperatives. No, They're just a vehicle and they can be a vehicle that goes a lot of different directions and they're not the only vehicle for social transformation. So, but they're important. Yeah, yeah, yeah.